name's Alan Heafy and I'm the uh, caretaker for both these Nissan R32 GDRs which uh, this particular car uh, won Bathurst 1991 and that particular car over there won Bathurst 1992. They were a, a, a car that was uh, built by Nissan Motor Company in Japan uh, and they homologated that into what they call the Group A category at that stage which was a global category and uh, these cars were built here locally by a company called Gibson Motorsport who, who were backed by Nissan Motor Company and uh, the, the entire car pretty much was manufactured as far as into a race car in-house. Uh, all the like, things like wheel nuts and bits and pieces were all made in-house. So, um, and, and they went out in 1991 and dominated the Australian Touring Car Championship and did so again in 1992 until Group A finished in 1992. I think out of the nine rounds that they had eight one-two wins. So uh, it was Jim Richards and Mark Scaife driving the cars and Jim won the championship in this car in 1991 and then Mark won the championship in that car in 1992. This is the 1992 Bathurst and Championship winning Winfield GDR run by Gibson Motorsport. Well other than winning the championship in Bathurst it's obviously most famously known as the pack of assholes car after it finished on three wheels up the top of the mountain and uh, the spectators weren't particularly impressed. When Jim won the Bathurst in that car there it was one on a count back uh, which which Dick was in the lead when it happened. They red flagged the race. When they red flagged, they go back one lap, and whoever's leading with that one lap before wins the race. It happened to be Jim and Mark. Uh, and that created quite a bit of controversy to the point where Jim got up on the podium and uh, basically told the crowd they're a pack of a-holes. It's got a Nissan 2.6 twin turbo twin cam engine, four valves per cylinder, uh, fuel injected. Uh, and it's got a Hollinger six-speed gearbox in it, so it's made locally here in Melbourne. Uh, the rear diff is still Nissan, but with some modifications done to that, and the same with all the suspension. Most of the suspension is homemade, was made in-house, uh, to sort of suit the application of which the cars were to be put in. Well, I've only driven them sort of around the pits and that sort of stuff. Actually, on the racetrack, I haven't had that privilege, but the, the people that drive the car get out of the car and just say, wow. Uh, it's an amazing car to drive, especially here, especially in this field with these cars, uh, in the Bathurst winners and also in the Heritage cars. Um, it's just an incredible car to drive. It is absolutely amazing. So much grip, so much power. It just, you can't not smile. Um, I mean, for its, for its era, of the 91, 92 era, I mean, the cars were so advanced uh, technically uh, that uh, there was not a lot of other things in the world could even get near the things. Um, but yeah, look, they were a, quite a significant uh, technology packet. And when you made them work, they worked well. Oh, the reaction's been fantastic. Um, I don't think there's been a minute in the last three days where there hasn't been people around the cars looking at the cars. So it's been really good to be able to get them out um, and to let the fans and the spectators get up and close with them. We're very fortunate the owner of the cars is, is happy to sort of spend what's needed to maintain them. Um, and, and, you know, they take quite a bit of looking after because they're quite complex. Uh, yeah, but, uh, you know, we, we, we service the engines and the gearboxes and the, the diffs and all the suspension, that sort of stuff. So on a, on a, a period of, you know, depending what how much running it's done, but we'll pull it all apart and, and crack test the bits and you know, check check the engines out and, and rebuild the engines quite often, yeah. So uh, they're a constant to look after, yeah.